All right, let's talk about a dump truck. So you're looking for one, you decided you, you want one of these instead of a dump trailer, because that's what I was at. I was like, do I get a dump trailer or do I buy a dump truck? I don't know. I ended up with a dump truck and I'm, I'm glad I did, mainly because I can haul stuff, big stuff. So it makes it nice. So this is a 92, technically or 93 Ford L9000. And uh, it's the same as a regular L9000 and the Aeromax means that it's got this uh, aerodynamic front end. So the front ends are a little different. But I found this truck about three and a half hours away from me. And uh, when I picked it up about what, two years ago, three years ago, I don't remember. But I haven't used it much in the last two years. This year is a lot more. A brand new tires on it. So we'll talk about that. So when you're buying one of these things, when you go to look at it, there are some things to look for. Tires are, are an important one as well. So tires, a steer tire is gonna cost you about 500 bucks for one. A drive tire, depending, uh, a 200, 250 bucks for a drive. So I mean, if you're finding a tandem truck and you gotta buy all the tires, you're, you got a lot of money in tires on this thing. So you gotta take that into consideration. Some other things to look at. When I was buying a truck, I wanted it to have air in the back and a pinto. So you find a truck, make sure it has what you want. So this one has glad hands for air to the trailer. It has a very nice pinto on it. Set up real nice. A lot of these pintles are added, so get underneath there a little bit and make sure that whoever did it did a decent job. Um, this one also has provisions for an electric brake setup for a trailer, which if you have a choice, I would go air braked 100% for heavy equipment. Um, so yeah, that's in the back. Make sure the tailgate's halfway decent. This one is banged up. and it, You know, it's not perfect by any means, but it's it's not bad. You'll need a tarp. I, this truck didn't have one, so I added that manual one just to have. I don't haul a ton with it, but every once in a while. The other big thing I will say about a truck, especially older ones, what engine is in it? This one has a Series 60 Detroit, uh, and it's a very, very good engine, easy to get parts for. Uh, obviously, Detroit's still in, in business. Uh, so that was a great, great engine, and that's one of the reasons I bought this one. And this has a nine-speed transmission in it too, which is common, and, and it's just fine for what I do. The engine is the biggest thing in these trucks. Like a lot of older equipment, slash older trucks, slash older stuff in general, getting parts for stuff is difficult very difficult sometimes the older fords of this era some of them had a ford diesel in them it was a they can they consider like a brazilian ford diesel they get the 7.8 liter uh and, and great engines honestly not powerhouses don't make a ton of power but very good engines uh, they can't get parts so it's very unfortunate a lot of parts are hard to find i mean some things you still can find or you can make work but i, I wanted to avoid that i didn't want to deal with it so I wanted one with a, with a cat engine or, or a Detroit or something that was decent with a lot of different engine combinations and trans combinations in old trucks. So just make sure you're, you know what you're getting into before you buy it. So I bought this truck three years ago. I ended up paying, I think I paid $3,500 for the truck. Uh, when I picked it up, didn't even have my CDL three and a half hours away. Drove down there, bought it. They wanted 35, I paid 35 for it. Uh, couple little things I've done to it you know I painted the box it was red it was ugly I'm gonna paint the cab here one of these days it's been so busy I haven't had time uh, everything works great on it I needed batteries so I put batteries in it that's always cheap uh, but $400 in batteries they go right there other than that though I haven't done much to this truck the only thing it has that I don't like it's a manual release for the tailgate latch which I could convert that to an error but it's just at it is it, I don't haul that much, so it's not really worth it. I changed some of these lights out in the back, LED lights, because I've smashed them and broke them. And so I, I did that. I added a backup camera too, which is uh, a Chinese special, which is a, I think, phenomenal. Just hooking trailers up, it just makes it so easy. You can do it by yourself the first time. So, but yeah, take a look inside real quick. And I got, I ended up getting my CDL with this truck and trailer combo. So it's been a great truck. Made a lot of money with it, actually. Oh yeah, this is my <laughs> my switch. I was checking some clearance lights on the trailer. They weren't working last time, but they're working now. So I got a switch to put in there. But yeah, it, uh, it's not a bad gig. I need to pull the valve cover off one of these days and see if it's got jakes in it. See if it has some nice engine brake capabilities. But other than that, 
that's the dump set up for the box. There's the backup camera. Electric brake controller, which I think is even unhooked. I don't ever use it. Uh, it does have cruise control, actually. It doesn't work. So I'm messing with that a little bit. But overall, you know, when you're buying these things too, make sure they're going to somewhat pass DOT, at least easily, like the windshield. Make sure there's no cracks in the windshield because that can get expensive. So, yeah, just make go over the truck pretty good. Uh, and this one, too, has air conditioning. It has an aftermarket air conditioning unit in it, which actually I fixed, and it works good. So that was cool. Uh, yeah. Make sure you go over these trucks good when you buy them. Make sure the frame's good. Tires, wheels are good. The suspension in the back isn't cracked and broke. Uh, the brakes on them aren't crazy expensive. This one's going to need front brakes next spring, probably. It'll get me through the year. Back brakes are good. But, yeah, I mean, check stuff like that because, man, it, it gets really expensive really quick. And uh, people don't understand that. Tires alone and, and you know, if you got a crack leaf spring in the back it's a lot of work a lot of money to fix that especially up here when we're working in the rust belt it's pretty i mean it's definitely not perfect you can see there's some holes and so but yeah any questions or anything like that let me know I've, I've been happy with this truck it's done good it's it's no speed demon pulling i, I pull uh this is my 450 john deere on the trailer right now it's a 21 ton tilt trailer i pull that really pretty easily and I also pull my uh, my mini and my skid steer stuff on I got a 10 ton tag as well that I pull those on all the time but I do the reason I got the 21 ton tag on it now so the 10 ton for this is uh I gotta go drop this off at a job tomorrow and then I have to go pick up my excavator I got a PC 120 Komatsu that I haul with this truck and it it does just fine you know it's, it's not like I said it's not gonna win win a race but uh it, it does fine it stops good got no issues so yeah, thanks fellas.